Sorry about that, guys. Like I said, I had to split it into two parts of this two-part video. <laughs> Ironically. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But uh, anyways, we're going to talk about uh, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo news in this part. Uh, we got a whole bunch of Xbox news to cover. So, yeah. But first things first, since Nintendo takes top priority here on this channel, we got to talk about Nintendo stuff. So... Yeah. Just recently, in fact, as of today's recording, Nintendo had just dropped a Nintendo Direct Mini out of nowhere. Yup, let's talk about that first, because that's the biggest thing we gotta talk about. But that's, uh, but like I said, that's not too obvious, because, well, I, I'm not gonna lie right now. Now, Nintendo Direct Minis actually get dropped out of nowhere. This has been a pattern with those things, so. Yup. You never know when they come! <laughs> uh, so let's just... Uh, where is it? Give me a sec. Yep. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh, are you ready? Okay. So, oh, we're gonna go over the stuff that's now available to purchase. Yes, that's right. This stuff is now available on the eShop for you guys to try. Yup. Uh, I mean, for you guys to try. Sorry, I was pointing the wrong way. So, first up, we have Good Job, and this is a game from Nintendo. Uh, it says. Uh, perform hilarious task around the building in two-player mode. Good job. Good job launches on the Switch today. So, yeah. I'll take a look into this game because it looks very interesting, but yeah. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. The Black Order Expansion Pass Pack 3. Um, it, launch, uh, it launches today and can be purchased for 1999. This includes uh, Fantastic Four Shadow of Doom and this as the Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom as playable characters through a new story campaign. So yeah, if you're if you bought the two out of two, the third one should be available today via an update. So yeah. Now for those who are fans of Ring Fit Adventure, including us, uh, so uh, we got a brand new update, just like me and Ethan were hoping. Hoping, and hopefully we'll be able to cover this one soon, but, um, there is a new rhythm game mode inside the game. Which is one of my favorite types of games, honestly, because one of the first rhythm games I did play uh, when I was younger is Guitar Hero was my first, I I'm not mistaken. Yep, and then, obviously, recently, the latest game that Ethan played, played was Thumper. Oh, well, guys... There is this one reason, one game I still need to try if I have the chance. Beat Saber. Yeah. Eventually, we'll get around to it once we bulk up the money for PlayStation VR, which unfortunately, thanks to this virus, is probably not going to happen 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 until next year. Sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah. Also, you have uh for being your partner in the uh, Ring Fit Adventure story mode, mode, you now have an option to switch to a female voice. Yup. And change the game of the in-game voice to a different language, and much more. The music, uh, the music for, uh, for the rhythm mode includes several game, uh, includes several tracks from Splatoon, Moon 2, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, or even Mario, Super, uh, Mario, Super Mario Odyssey. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, and from what I noticed, noticed in the trailer, they also have a Wii Fit, me Wii Fit medley. Yup. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it's a new remix or just the remix from S, uh, S, uh, S, uh, S, uh, S B M U. Yup. I'm not talking about Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. I'm talking about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Right. Uh, but yeah. Shekwo, Into the Dark... Uh, Into the Depths is a new game that just launched for Capcom. It's an underwater game, and it looks very interesting. It's like a platformer game. It launches today. Okay, and Panda the Dragoon Remake. 
Oh, this is one of those games from Sega I'm looking forward to. You're probably wondering when it launches. Launches, right? Well, good news for you guys. You'll be in for the hype. Yep, that's right. It's available today. He's got it right now. Yep. You can definitely expect gameplay of this specific game much later. Yep. I'll get mine later on. So, yeah. Definitely expect to see more gameplay of this game very soon. Um, Jedi, uh, Star Wars, Je uh, Jedi, I can't, uh, 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 Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Switch today as well, so be sure to look forward to it. Now, Exobit Chronicle. Uh, Thrill Bay Chronicles Definitive Edition. Edition. Uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll be having a special, uh, uh, we'll be having a special new expansion for the game. Yep. And it's, uh, and it's epilogue story is called. Sorry, yep. guys. Jeez. Sorry, guys. We always have to hold up for a second. Man. Wow, we can never get a break, guys. <laughs> anyway, while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and find some things that we should talk about for a bit. Wow, MC's doing something. Okay, so let me see if I can find something that you guys to talk about. Hmm. Give me a second, guys. Okay, never mind. I'm back. Yup, I hold up. Alright, so, um... Um, for those who are looking forward to it, to it, there's a new epilogue story called Exobit Chronicles uh, Future Connected. And from what I look from the trailer, seems like it's an epilogue slash uh, prelude to Exobit Chronicles 2. Mm -hmm. Which is very interesting to say the least. But we don't know until the game launches, so... Yeah, that's like getting never covered in the original Exobit game. Yep. Um, even some tracks were remixed and the HUD has been updated, so it's a lot better than the original. Our launch is May 29th. Let's <sighs> love me launches, seriously. I got enough of my, my, my guys, could you calm down? Yup, I know. Uh, but yeah, so it is launching, launching May 29th. Yeah, the virus has to strike on the, uh, at uh, that time. <sighs> Give me a win, bud. Nope. <laughs> All right. Okay. So for Animal Crossing New Horizons, Horizons, you guys know that, like I said earlier in the previous part, the game just launched, and we only have a new update for it. Yep. For it. Um. Uh. Between April first and April twelfth, uh. Um. Per, uh, res residents can participate in Bunny Day. And the next, uh, and the next update launches on uh, in April with uh, which adds F Day. So look forward to that. Yep. Um. Let me see. Now there was some Pokemon news news, but it wasn't really anything major. There is some details that you guys gotta keep in mind with this one Pokemon that is gonna be with you like a starter, but it's headed to legendary form. Yeah. So, uh, this poke, uh, this Pokemon, man, you'll be able to train through two JoJo's, and you gotta do it alone. Mm -hmm. what, whatever that entitles, you're not able to use your party Pokemon, or <laughs> you're gonna, uh, uh, or you're just gonna have to have them in your party. Remains to be seen. But uh, if I had to guess, somebody tells me, tells me. Else, man, I hope you're used to soloing Pokemon in Mystery Dungeon, because this sounds like the same thing, only in the main series. Yup. So, yeah, look forward to it. Um, Bravely Default 2! Oh, I see some, ge I see some uh, gameplay, and this is almost just like the Bravely Default 1, but instead, it's attached to Bravely Default 1. 
not the Bravely second. Yeah, Bravely second, just to clear it up, is a somewhat spin-off sequel of the story. Ooh. It, it's confusing. Yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, Square, you're going to need to clear up the confusion on that one, please. Yep. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if you've been itching to try a demo, though, I got good news for you. You get to try it. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, the demo's available today to download for you, you to try that. Yep. Now, for those who are fans of 2K, hey, hey, I got a couple of announcements. No, oh. no, 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 no. Before you say, oh, great, more sports games. No, 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 not sports games. Or actually, there's even a few ones that I'm actually looking forward to this time. Exactly. Of course, there is a few few uh, 2K games I'm going to really try on the Switch, of course. Bioshock definitely on the Switch, of course. That's one of the first games we're going to talk about. Yep. So, we have three games. XCOM 2. Which is going to be, uh, which is going to call X Time 2 Collection on the Switch, which will include, well, obviously, XCOM 2, mm -hmm. four DLC packs, and the Chosen War expansion pack. Oh, I'm definitely going to get XCOM first for sure, because I love XCOM 2. Uh, as for Borderlands, Borderlands, uh, Borderlands, the uh, Legendary Collection will be coming to the S Switch. It doesn't include Borderlands 3. Because it makes sense. Uh, well, not really. I just think they're a little cheap. But, uh, honestly, see, it will be coming to the Switch with Borderlands 1, uh, Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, and its sequel, Borderlands... the P sequel. Mm -hmm. Uh, then, we have Bioshock, which is, uh, Bioshock Remastered, Bioshock Remastered 2, and Bioshock, uh, uh the Complete Infinite, the Complete Edition... Edition will be coming to bot, uh, coming to Switch as Bioshock the Collection, which is one of those games I'm going to try for sure, guys. Next up, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Okay, guys, there's good news for all of you, but you guys are going to be like, eat the nine. Go find out a second. We don't know who the next character is, but Nintendo did tease that this next character will be from. Arms! Okay, this is my reaction. I found out. I was like, what? What? <laughs> In a negative way. Yeah, even sound a big fan of Arms. Well, to be fair, I played the game and I used to like the game at first, and then I looked at back about it, and I was like, not that into it. <laughs> And fairness to Ethan, Ethan, at least he gave it a try. But on the bright side, it could have been worse. At least it didn't tease, tease it from, at least, at least, at least it didn't tease it with a golden sun or something. Something. Otherwise, that would have been torture. Oh, yeah. Honestly, though, my reaction to it, I was like, what? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know why we keep getting a little bit more disappointments. Well, except for the last... I don't like going falling into this fan base. Yeah, says the fan uh, Weebo. Yeah, can we just cut that out? For <laughs> <some time? laughs> I'm teasing. Anyways, ways moving on. We have now this should have been at the Switch's launch. Mm -hmm. Launch for a body game. It's called Clubhouse Games. What one hundred fifty one worldwide classics. Oh, to be honest, guys, when I found this game. I was like, okay, Dindo, you got me sold on digitally. Yep. It's coming June 5th, and it includes a lot of classics, like Four and Row, a.k.a. AKA Connect Four. There's Checkers, one of my favorite classic games. Yeah, uh, Poker, Oka, or Chess, Slight Puzzle, Four Sots Cars, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I need to get that game. Yeah. Now, that was a game that should have been at the launch. Unlike Nintendo's effort with one to switch cough, cough. Like, Snipper Glyphs was one of the best party games we know, but now I think in this game, I hope it's going to be better than uh, the one to switch I'm hoping to cross my fingers. Well, How not, it plays, I mean. Well, let's not jinx it, though. Alright, so, we have an EA that's game that's coming to Switch. 
Now before you say, oh yes, it's Madden. No, I wish. <laughs> uh, EA is not that. Uh, EA is not that. Uh, not that giving. Well, let's tell you, it's Burnout Up Paradise. Be mastered. Oh, I man, when I first played the game, it was one of the fantastic Burnout games I played today. I actually play have it on Xbox, but considering I played it, I love it. Okay, I'm sold. I'll get it for Switch. But I only got because I love it so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have Fusa. Obviously, this was already announced previously by Hum Onyx, the same people who make my other favorite Switch game, Super Beat Sports. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to this. King's Bounty 2. This is an interesting RPG game. It's a technical game, just like Bob one, but instead it's a different type of strategy. Yeah. Which I'm going to look into. Exactly. So, Ninjaga. You probably remember that Gunho announced this a couple years ago. Well, now we finally got our first look at the game, and honestly, I seem to like it. It reminds me a lot of Naruto... Uh, Shobi, Sh Shinobi Strikers, I believe. Correct. Oh, that game, guys? I was going to say the same thing. When I first looked at the game, I was like, hmm, this game's going to be good. So yeah. I'm thinking this game is going to be a reminder of a Naruto Shinobi Striker, but instead it's its own game. Yeah, yeah. And it's free to play, too. So we'll be able to play eight, play this. It's hitting up this May. May. So we won't have to wait long to try it. Oh, I'm hoping this game's going to be good. Okay. Next one is an Atlas game. Don't jump, guys. I wish it was Persona 5, but sadly it's not. Yet. Instead... This is not surprising, but some of you are going to be surprised. It's Catherine Full Body is coming. Yes, you heard me. Catherine Full Body is coming to Switch. Now, as you guys know, uh, in terms of consoles, it was originally only on Xbox. Uh, I did say, say uh, Xbox. I meant the remaster for this game was originally only available for the PlayStation. But now it's coming to the Switch. This is Sony fans. <laughs> Yeah. One less exclusive for Sony. I, this is what I said I reacted. I said, see, Sony, I told you don't rely on the third parties too much. I told you. Yeah, it's helping competition. Unless the competition backstabs you in the last minute once they make their money. And PlayStation seems to be a little bit of a, well, I get, like I said, I'll save that debate for another video. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so Catherine Full Body will com be coming to Switch. On July 7th. If you already have, haven't already bought the game, that is. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Star Wars Episode One Racer. And, oh, I know that game. And that one's coming to Switch soon. Other games that are coming to the Switch are Saints Row, uh, Reelected, March uh, 17, uh, 27th. Jeez, that's actually tomorrow. Yep. Um, Trails of Mar, April 24th. Um, uh, Elder Scroll, The Elder Scrolls Blades, Spring, still. Um, Minecraft Dungeons, also Spring, still. Warhammer, 4000, coming this May. Um, Mr. Joe Adrenaline, coming June 25th. And The Tales of Cold, St uh, The Legend of Cold, St uh, Heroes, Cold Steel 3, June 30th. And Volga, sometime this fall. Yep. Uh, and in addition, tomorrow is also the release of One Piece Private Warriors 4, the latest Warriors collab game for Nintendo Switch, oh. Xbox, uh, wait, no, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and PC. Mm-hmm. Yep, so that game is going to be coming tom tomorrow. So, okay, guys, that is one of the things that we talked earlier, is ritually we're going to get that for physical, but bad news for you, this could happen to us. Because of the breakdown. Yep, because of the outbreak. Yep, unfortunately, me and Ethan had to uh, had to cancel our pre-orders, and we got a digital instead. It's emergency way, guys. This is an emergency situation. Yep, so, unfortunately for us, me and Ethan have sadly... Yeah, I'd have to do that, which has got me and Ethan both worried about our collector's editions for both Final Fantasy VII for Ethan and Persona 5R for me. 
Hopefully, we'll have some news on you for you guys later on that. That, but um, does that mean? Yeah, guess I'm gonna be getting the extra GameStop credit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So that is it. Uh, that is it for Nintendo news. Um, now let's move on to Xbox news. Now, as I said, uh, Fantasy Star Online 2's beta is available now to download for free. 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 But in addition to that, we got a whole new set of Game Pass games this last month. And let me review what we got. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so this is the stuff that was just recently added. We have Power Rangers, Battle for the Grid, Bleeding Edge, The Surge 2, Ace Combat Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown, Corona, Paku, All in the World Wisp, which just launched this month as well, NBA 2K20, T uh, Chain Sim uh, 2020, Jackbox Party F uh, Pack 3, Waste Man. And remastered Yakuza Zero, which also just launched on uh, Xbox for the very first time for the Yakuza series. Uh, Two Point Hospital, which also just launched on all consoles. Kingdom Hearts Three, uh, Ninja Garden Two, uh, Square Deadly, Final Fantasy Se uh, Fifteen Royal Edition, Wolfenstein Young Blood, Sea Salt, and Fishing Sim World. Mm -hmm. All that was just announced for Game Pass, and more stuff is coming soon. Yep. So I'm excited to see what else Microsoft has down the road for that. Um, in terms of Xbox Series X news, uh, they did reveal a whole bunch of stuff, and they just recently had a developers panel on Xbox Series X. So um, be sure I will link that below for all of you guys to check out. And um, yeah, whole bunch of whole bunch of cool Xbox news and stuff. I won't go in depth with the specs because I'm not a tech guy on that side. So, uh, yeah, you're going to have to look into that for yourself. As for PlayStation 4 news... Well, 4 news and PlayStation 5. Let's get this over with. The PlayStation 5 news. Uh, okay, let's just say they did reveal what the specs are going to be like. There is confirmation about the PlayStation 4 backwards capability for the system. Yeah, uh, Sony needs to clear up the wording a little bit, but apparently the top 100 most played PlayStation games have been tested for the system and will be backwards compatible at launch. They're hoping that most of the library is going to be confirmed to be backwards compatible by launch, but that's not a 100% guarantee. And given the state of our, our catalog in the U.S., that's mostly going to be RPGs, Call of Duty, and sports games. Yep, hopefully some anime games in there. Throw some anime games for you at it. Yep, but uh, uh, other than the uh, first party, party and some third party exclusives, I wouldn't expect your favorite game to be that at large backwards compatibility wise. Oh jeez, this is gonna be tough. So uh, I'll say this much after I found out. This is my my reaction the whole thing. Oh no. Well, I hate to tell you guys, but in my opinion, Sony is dead. If this is true. Yeah. Well, so, oh, it's just a misconfirmation, but we'll see when the system launches. We still haven't seen the game lineup, so we can still turn around. But from what we've seen so far, yikes. Seems like so Sony's burying themselves a grave. Uh, pretty big one at that. Yup. That's not because of the specs of the systems. Now I'm talking about that. It's backwards capability and some other things in that system. Yeah. What even the controller? For, uh, we've only seen a pattern, but from what it looks like, we might still have that stupid. Show them. For those who are, don't own a PlayStation, station, we currently have a touchpad. Now, a pill, pill, uh, now Sony has confirmed that the uh, Dual Shock 4 will be backwards compatible, I think, don't quote me on that, with the PlayStation 5. 
five. So we'll be able to use use our controllers. But here's my question. If that's the case, how come you're still keeping this with the PlayStation 5 controller? Or even that little light there, too. But I don't mind the little light thing. Exactly. But that thing and the touchpad drain battery together, so faster than this does. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> See, seriously, Sony, you need, need to step up your game here. Uh, uh, in terms of marketing. Yikes. Uh, but other than that, that it's been a pretty decent year so far for Sony. I guess hope it goes to the ship and the last of us can get some positive news for the fan base because right now they kind of need it. Ghost of Tsushima is my last hope for the for this well, last hope for the Sony Son, Sony era for me because this game is gonna be like one of my childhood companies I liked, Sucker Punch Productions. Is working on this game, so let's hope. And even by the collector's edition too, so just because I'm giving them support. Yeah, so if he even ends up wasting his time with this one, uh, this is going to be like Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite all over again. Ah, please. Don't let this happen, guys. I have my fingers crossed. And just so you know, MC's also getting the Ghost of Tsushima, oh, right? Yep. Yeah, also getting that, but not as me with the edition and stuff. Yeah, because, uh, money. So, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all for Microsoft and Sony news. But there is one more before we get to anything else. Uh, Demon Slayer games are been announced. Yes. Now, before you say, oh no, but uh, Namco's in trouble. Uh, uh, Namco's probably going to do it. <laughs> Hold your horses. Alright, there's actually two games from the anime is actually going to be planned to be coming. One is a mobile game. And two is a PlayStation 4 game for next year. Yes. Uh, and it will be developed by uh, CyberConnect. Which means you guys in for a treat. I hope. They got, these guys have made some good games like Jack of All Kakarot and Origin in the Storm. But at the same time, they also made that one JoJo Bazaar game that didn't get well received. So we can go either way. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I'm skeptical. Well, to me, though, as for some people say, the people are like, hey, is this going to be Arena Fighter? Hold your horses. We saw the trailer. There may be look like he was slaying those demons in the trailer and for PlayStation 4 version. I have faith that this one's going to be more different than what you guys people think. I don't want to think that way because I'd rather be positive with this one. Fair enough. But that's on even type, not mine, so... So... As we already know, it's going to be coming for next year for PlayStation 4, for Demon Slayer. That's good it's getting its own gaming adaption. <laughs> People have been dying for that. Now the one, as I understand, we're also going to get Demon Slayer, a mobile game, which is going to be coming sometime this year. And it's going to be a Battle Royale, it's a Battle Royale game. That's all, I, that's all I know. But this one sounds like it's going to be more bit different than the rest of like. Fortnite and other Battle Royale games, except for Tetris, because Tetris is in its own Battle Royale mode. <laughs> yeah, Tetris is a little different than that. So, yeah. But, yeah, I get your point, bud. I'm going to definitely give that one a try, like I did with Bob and Heroes, for their sake. See? Even Ethan even, even can try a mobile game. You just got to get his interest. <laughs> Demon Slayer is definitely no one that I'm going to have to try eventually when it comes out. Well, usually I'm not a mobile gamer, so don't bash. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so definitely look for 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 it to see. Hopefully, gameplay about those two later on in the channel, because me and Ethan definitely plan to cover both at one point or the other. Uh, let me see, and I think that's it in terms of gaming news. Yep, we talked about Final Fantasy VII. Oh, actually, I should tell you about how I tried the demo of Final Fantasy VII remake. Oh. That's right, we nearly forgot about that. So Ethan did try the Final Fantasy VII Remake. We will be streaming it a week before the la launch of the game, but uh, for Ethan's sake, why don't you talk about, uh, why don't you talk about your uh, uh, experience a little bit? Let's say when I play the game, so far it's actually like <clears throat> you go around and you slash people and you are controlling like, characters. There's one guy, he could do the <laughs> machine gun from his arm. You guys probably recognize those guys from the, from the Final Fantasy VII. 
Cloud, I play as Cloud a couple times, and actually, to me, it's like you go out there and you mash, mash your buttons, and you can do the, like a strategize to magic abilities. I'll tell you something. The that boss in that game, Scorpion, not Scorpion Mortal Kombat, but Scorpion and Machine, whew, he's tough. I've never seen Ethan struggle against a boss that badly badly lately. And mind you, he plays a lot of RPGs, and I've seen him play a lot of RPGs. So when I say a bo boss he makes him struggle, I mean it. Mean it. He barely struggles with bosses. The only other one that Ethan struggled was Persona 5. That's all I can think of, really. Yeah, because think about it. It's new new gaming, gaming uh, you know, style for me. Right now, I like that kind of style a bit more than the original. I hate to tell you that. But that's just his opinion. Yeah, I mean, I try both, don't worry. That's why I say I like the remake more, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, but, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, okay, now, in terms of movie news, well, uh, you probably, we po you probably heard our new, uh, uh, what we talked about in part one, but, uh, mm -hmm. as for now, we got some early launches happening digitally. Yep, let's talk about that. Like, Onward, for example. Yep, Onward is uh, going to be available available April 3rd uh, through Disney+. Plus. But there is some good news and bad news. We already talked about the good news. Now let's talk about the bad news. Let's say in the box office, in the first time in history, it's become the less grossing film in the Pixar which because of the coronavirus. Yeah. That's it, not because in general it's not it's not the best. Yeah. A lot of people seem to give it uh seem to love it. So, it's not that. It's definitely the virus. So, that's one bad news for the film. But other than that, it's great. Mhm. Mm so, me and Ifu would definitely let you guys know in a movie review at one point or the other what we think of onward. Yep. Um also, for Sonic fans, the Sonic movie's coming on March, uh, March 31st digitally, and May will release the Blu-ray. Yup. I am so excited. I'm definitely buying that movie. If you haven't seen our movie review on it, at this point, well, what are you waiting for? Well, sorry guys, if you guys... Oh, actually, I gotta tell you something. The film for One Piece Stampede, good news for you. It's already out already. That's right. Be sure, sure to go pick up that one as well as you can. On Fun Nation, of course. I already got it pre-ordered, and I, I don't know why I got it, so I'm stuck in here, so I don't know how I got it or not. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's at his house, so. Yep, so. Okay. So, if we're almost done, I got one movie to get this over with, but I just saw recently yesterday. Oh, boy. Now, yeah, I will save this for the recap, but briefly, Ethan saw the Spawn movie. Now, critics, critics is something that me and Ethan and the whole Go Gamers channel don't re usually listen to. Listen to. We are critically free, free of anything when it comes to movies, anime, games, whatever. We try it, and we make our own opinion. Mm -hmm. That's how, how we work. But for once... Okay, let's get this over before this is this is bad. So, let's say, guys, it's in from 1997, okay? That's from the, that time. So, okay. Reason how I got to try out that movie, because I turned into, like, Spawn in Mortal Kombat 11 and turned to be almost to be a fan of him. So I figured, try out the movie. So I try out the movie. And I'll tell you right now, my opinion... Ah! Yeah. May have been the worst superhero movie even seen to date. Worse than probably Black Panther, even. Oh, hold up, folks. Yes? Well, hold up a second, guys. Sorry about the delay and stuff. <laughs>
Sorry about that, guys. We're going to have to hold up for a second because MC got something going on again. Man, I'll tell you guys, you know the usual. Speaking of which, okay guys, so if you guys are going to plan to get One Piece Stampede, it's one of the films for the anime that came out last year, this you got to do right here. You got to go right into this website and say buy now, and also with, this, with those nice keychains for the movie. So, I'm going to look into it and give you the price real quick. Pretty sure they still have it in storage over there. Alright, how much it is? You got yourselves this much. If you're gonna buy that. See that? Alright, I was just talking about the One Piece Stampede real quick. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Alright, anyways, wait, so, uh, yeah, um, a couple of movies have actually been releasing early early um, theaters. Uh, I won't say specifically which ones, because I don't remember all of them, all of them offhand, but a couple of them include Tw Old World Tour and, um, like we just said, Onward. Yup. So let's get back to, we're talking about the Spawn movie from 1997. Yep. Ah, oh, guys. You don't know how bad the movie went. It was okay at first when I first saw, like, almost halfway in the movie. And then at the end, there's almost like, feels like, no offense, I'll be honest with myself. Let's say there is some CGI in the movie, look like almost like a PlayStation 1 graphics. Ouch! Or even worse, or even worse, the action of it is lacking. It's a lack of action in there. Yeah, like I said, we're going to tell you briefly, but even more explained in our other series that we're going to be watching later. Anime Showdown, Binge Before the Showdown. Alright, so like I said, I'm only totally you some of it. Well, I can tell you now, the film... Man, no wonder the movie is underrated. <laughs> and problem is, the fan th fans think the opposite. Some fans out there. Most of the majority of them think the opposite, but as for non super fan like me, Lord, well, he's not actually Spawn is not a superhero. He's an anti-hero. Technically, anti-hero like if you guys know Shadow, it's like that. So yeah, um, but anyways, wait. So that's the truth of the uh, That's the truth. Uh, that's the truth of the Spawn movie. Um, now, anime-wise, hmm. There is, there is like, I can tell you the brief through about some anime expects I watched recently. I'll go ahead and go up to this Foundation app real quick and look over some of the animes I did see recently. Yeah, but like I said, the binge before the shout-out will have more details. Ethan's just going to go over briefly what he thinks of certain animes because video's getting long of it. Yep, sorry, guys. <clears throat> I swear we talked about My Yuki Dania in season four. We know it's good. I know it's good. I checked out Infinite Ball Gra Bottle Gram. I remember that anime. Not too bad so far. It's not the best, but it's not bad. No one I did see recently it was a good anime I liked was Heaven's Lost. Property that I saw all the way through season one, two, and also the movie. I'll tell you something, guys. The anime itself, it's just fantastic. It's funny, and it's like the one of those most best funniest animes I watched to date from 2009. Man, I missed a good anime back in the day. Well, to be fair, it's a it were, were, I was a kid at the time. So, not kid, but high school at the time. <laughs> That's one of the animes I recommend to let you guys check out. I'm going to show you what it looks like real quick. Oh, 
Oh, hang on, bud. We'll have to split this into another part. Okay.